Maryland lawmakers want answers about that glitch at the MVA that forced thousands of people to cast provisional ballots in the primary election. WJZ is live now in Annapolis, and political reporter Pat Warren has reaction to a major mistake. Pat? That's right, Denise. It was a joint committee hearing in which state lawmakers demanded to know what caused the confusion that forced tens of thousands of Maryland voters to have to use provisional ballots. If you were one of the thousands of voters whose registration didn't register through the MVA, here's the apology you may be after from MVA Administrator Christine Neiser. We're certainly very sorry that this occurred. It's an important responsibility of the Motor Vehicle Administration to help people register to vote. We put measures in place to ensure that going forward this doesn't happen again. Weekly audits, electronic processes, we will do everything in our power to make sure that everybody who registers through us is appropriately transferred to the State Board of Elections. Do you think some voters were discouraged by all of this? Almost definitely. Senate and Committee Chair Joan Carter Conway in. says the system needs a makeover that may not be ready in time for the general election. But the issue remains, do we still have that same problem just based on the justification that the system is old? So it would appear to me that we would be allocating the necessary resources to upgrade the system to make sure that it never happens again. Will that happen before the general election? Well, no, no, definitely not happen before the general election. So there are still some questions that remain unanswered in terms of what actually will transpire during the general. That's November 6th. The general election, November 6th, and the Board of Elections is also offering assurances to all of you out there that the provisional ballots were counted. And as we know from the Baltimore County Executive's Democratic primary race, every vote counts. I'm Pat Warren reporting live now. Back to you, Denise. We have, we have really learned that this year. Thank you, Pat. <laughs>